Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, transforming the way people think and work so their organizations can thrive. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. My name is Ed Kless, and with me today is David Bergstrom. David, we are at the AICPA's Engage Conference for the first time in, what, 18 months we've been out and about. Good to have you back on the podcast. Uh, good to be here. Good to be around people. People are coming out, and it's pretty exciting here. A lot of uh, networking. So you've been an observer of the CPA profession for decades now, if I may say. And I want, what did you learn about CPAs over the last 18 months? The last 18 months has been a lot of changes in the CPA profession. Everyone is being very energetic and more and more the switch to advisory services. Most accountants have been passive and are always doing the compliance work, but the PPP and the economic disaster loans, they've gotten to know their clients. Barry Melanson keeps talking about that and there's a change and that change is going to stay. CPA firms are going to change and grow at this point in time. So you think that's going to be a lasting thing? It's going to be a good thing that they've concentrated more on the relationship? I think it's an excellent thing that they've concentrated on the relationship. The firms that build upon that are going to be successful. The firms that don't build upon it and go back to the way things used to be mm-hmm. are not going to be successful. It's. Uh, we, I just sat in the session. Uh, Barry Melanson, Eric Astison, uh, Bill Pirelli, and Sue Coffey talking about what's going on and what's transpiring in the future. And... Uh, there's a lot coming down the line, and uh, people will be different in the future than they were in the past. And you have to adopt and use technology. Change the business model is the big thing that he's talking about. Yeah, so I wanted to pick up on that because, t- to me, when I hear change the business model, my mind immediately moves to, well, the one of the th- things about a business model is how do you price what you do? And they did talk about value and pricing. They didn't use the word value pricing, but it's out there. And people have to understand the new model. You're going to use technology. Everything's going to be done a lot quicker. But you're paying for the knowledge. And if you price it right, and I know the Veris Age Institute, Mm -hmm. Ron Baker, and I guess you're a part of that at times, uh, it truly is all about value pricing and offering your clients multiple choices. And hopefully they pick the right choice. But it looks more and more that your transactional level type pricing is going to be more commoditized, and it's more going to be about controllership and the CFO mm-hmm. and the real value of why people need to hire an accountant. And more and more, we're seeing all businesses of all sizes outsource their accounting completely. Like there's, uh, it could be a day when it's very rarely will the company have its own accounting department anymore. Right, and Barry brought that up. He said it's not just the large companies, smaller companies now with technology will benefit if the CPA in public practice realizes they have to solve the problems of the small business and don't act like a typical CPA doing compliance, but act like a financial executive for that company. How can that company grow? How can that company develop business strategies to accomplish what it wants to do? Mm -hmm. And that's where even the business model, I think, even shifts even more, not just to value pricing, but to subscription. Uh, And he brought that up a little. Uh, More and more people are looking at subscription. When you have subscription pricing, you know your revenue is coming in. Uh, you can build accordingly. You know, I, I think, you know, you've always been ahead of the game in your seersucker suit, uh, <laughs> identifying what people should do and you bring out, bring out the best there. And I think the CPAs now have to change in what they do to be successful. I like to call myself a millennial in a baby boomer's body. I'm always willing to adapt, change, and relearn. Uh, but this is a great time for young CPAs to get into the business because they're going to rise faster. They put a model up there that shows you have to learn a lot quicker uh, to do things, and it's going to be a whole different world here. So my question to you now is, what did you learn about yourself in the last 18 months? That I'm fantastic. Uh, (laughs) I I, I keep learning that there's more to learn, Uh, and I keep learning that, you know, maybe I'll stop, but I have a desire to help other people. My why is help other people be successful in the accounting field. It's great when a student comes back to me five, ten years after they've been in the class and said, you know, you helped me make the right choice. I'm really doing great. Some of them are in public. Some of them are in private. Some of them are in totally other things. But I, I learned about myself that uh, the world is changing and you have to keep adapting and changing with it. And, David, as you know, we have an exit question that we always ask. And you might not remember who you said last time. It doesn't matter. But who is a hero of yours and why are they a hero? You're a hero of mine. Now, if we look at my real life, I have the same uh, hero, Dudley Do-Right, uh, that I had last time. Not in the accounting profession, um, just because I grew up with that. And that's one of the things, you know, you ask who your hero is, 
you ask why people like rock and roll, uh, disco, rap, because that's the music they grow up with and mm-hmm. they grew up with. And they always remember that. So you remember your heroes from yesterday. And, you know, that's that sticks with me. If you ask me who's a role model in accounting, uh, there's many different people I've learned from. And typically it's the people that I've hired that have taught me different things over the years. Lastly, David, how can somebody get a hold of you? Uh, get a hold of me uh, by uh, looking looking me up on LinkedIn, anywhere along the line, Dave Bergstein. Or uh, I like my uh, site, Bergstein CPA, which uh, really don't use that much. I use appsmaven.com as my way of communicating with people. All right, David Bergstein, thanks so much for being a guest once again. Thank you for having me once again. I'm going to go to be uh, like Johnny Carson. I want to be your most often used guest. <laughs> All right, thanks, David. Review and subscribe by searching your podcast player of choice for Sage Thought Leadership Podcast.